Hello and welcome! In this video, I'll be unboxing the God of War Ragnarok Collector's Edition for PlayStation 5, as well as the limited edition DualSense controller. I pre-ordered these from EB Games Australia, and they both released November 9th, 2022. There was a larger edition of the game that was exclusive to JB Hi-Fi in Australia. Unfortunately, I did not manage to get that one, um, but I'm pretty happy to just have this one. So we're now going to jump in and unbox it. It's quite a large one, so it's going to be a little bit difficult and a little different to my usual videos. Um, but yeah, we'll jump in and see how we go. I will also be comparing it to a PlayStation box so you can see how large it is. So, first up, let's move that out of the way. Comparing it to a PlayStation 5 box. So, it is the same length and height, essentially. It is just the... Knocking everything around. Just the uh, actual depth of it that is different. So hopefully that is still in view. That gives you a look, hopefully, at how large it is. We can now move that one out of the way. Um, so there's the top of the box. There is the bottom. It tells you the contents. So we have a 16 inch Mjolnir replica. We have Knowledge Keeper's Shrine. Two in. Okay, I can't read that upside down. Okay, uh, two in veneer twins carvings, uh, dwarven dice set, steelbook display case, no game disc included. It is a digital download only, which is unfortunate, um, but some good items there. On the side, we just have some design work. Same with the other side, which I hope is all in view. And then going around to the back, we have a look at the contents itself. So we have a nice collector's box, steel case, the twins carving, uh, the die set and the replica, as well as some digital content. Okay, looks like we're gonna cut the stickers off the side and open it up that way. Let's see what's gonna be the best way to do this. Like that, that's gonna be the best. Do not have enough hands to do this nicely, but now that should be out enough for me to slide without damage. Okay, move that to the side. So here we have the gorgeous inner box. Okay, now does the top come off? It does. Take the top off and let's have a little look see. So that is just decorative, so let's go ahead and check that out first. So we open those up, we have some gorgeous artwork. Try to make sure it's all in view for a little bit at least. And then there we go. And we have the replica. that up. It's going to make lots of noise. I apologize in advance. There's no way for me to avoid this. that out of the way. Um, I might be able to come around to give you a close-up look of that a different way. Let's move that stuff to that side. Okay, so coming behind the camera I can get a nice view of what I'm actually showing you. So here we have the gorgeous Mjolnir replica. Um, let's take that out. 
there's something there that I assume was meant to keep it into the packaging, but I guess they missed. So we have some great detail work on this. It's all nicely textured. Let's have a nice look at it. Some faux leather, I assume, there. Try and get a look at all of the angles. Awesome. Okay. Let's put that there and let's move on to the next part. Okay. Next up, we are going to go with the dice. It comes in a nice pouch. And a few different shapes. Nice design work on all of them. Hopefully that's a good enough view of those. Moving on, next up we have the two carved little pieces. which I should actually come and show you on that side. So I'll take them out and then we'll do that. So we can get a nice close up of them. And then we have the steel case inside of which I assume we have the DLC. Uh, so it's shrink wrapped. I'll get that open. We'll have a better look at it in a moment. Open that up. We do indeed have the DLC there, which I will be immediately claiming once the video is over. Uh, that can stay in there. Okay. So we've got two bits of DLC to start off with. So we've got digital content there, and then some additional digital content. I believe this is the pre-order bonus. Inside we also had our Australian warranty sort of information. Now let's check out the steelbook itself. So there we have the front, absolutely gorgeous. There is the spine and there we have the back. Um, not sure what it says but I'm sure someone can tell me below. And then opening up on the inside, we have some more gorgeous artwork. Interesting that it has space for two discs in, this, in it, this, uh, despite not having the game physically. But I suppose perhaps the PlayStation 5 version or PlayStation 4 version requires two discs. Okay, let's chuck that back there. Uh, while I'm here, let's quickly go over the dice again. So there's the pouch. And the dice themselves. Awesome. Now the two carved little figures. Here we have the first one. Nice 360 view of it. It's got lots of great detail work on it. Feels as if it was actually carved from wood. It of course is not though. It's got some weight to it as well. Okay, awesome. There's the first one. Chuck that back there. And let's move on to... The next one, focus please, perfect, there we go, nice 360 view of that one as well, almost dropped it, <laughs> awesome, and now we can move on to the controller, so here we have the controller, front of the packet, side, back, other side, bottom and top. Let's go ahead and cut the sticker and open it up. Slide it out and okay. 
bunch of informational pamphlets as well as the controller instruction manual and here we have the controller itself okay so here we have it it looks absolutely gorgeous I love the blue it is darker in real life than it shows up on the camera um, but otherwise it looks pretty amazing We've got the two wolves that signify Atreus and Kratos I believe I could be wrong Let's have a nice 360 view of it. And on the back, there we have it. And then that is essentially it. Let me know in the comments section below, have you picked up the game yourself or do you plan to? Which part is your favorite? Like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I do unboxings and video gameplay. And other than that, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching, and goodbye.